Sarah? Didn't you like anything in there? No, there's nothing I really like in here. I guess I'm looking for something more stylish. I'll just go look somewhere else. You can always go check out the other boutiques, but they're a little more expensive. Maybe I will. I mean, money doesn't matter at all to me. Where are the latest models that we're going to be sending to Italy? Right here, ma'am. Hmm. What's this? Why is anything wrong? What do you think? I'm so sorry, there must have been a mistake. Can you tell me why the models that are going to France in the folder of the models that are going to go to Italy? Did you not even check the folders? Believe me, I did, but I must have overlooked these. You are my right-hand woman. It's unacceptable for you to give me an excuse like that. You can consider yourself dismissed from your position here if you ever make a mistake like that again. Mrs. Natalia. You may leave now. And don't come back here until you've fixed the mistake. Wasn't that a little too harsh? AJ is a talented girl, but she doesn't get I don't accept mistakes. If I were to let this go, she keeps slacking off. You sound more like Granny every day, have you noticed? Forget about Granny, we have to talk. Come here and sit down. What's all this about? Celine, haven't you noticed that she's grown more and more distant? Well, that's her choice. She never tells me anything anymore. You either. Maybe she doesn't actually have anything to tell us. It hasn't been that long since she started going out on her own. What has she been doing, really? What does she have to tell us about? <laughs> the two of you used to spend a lot of time together. You had so much fun. <sighs> Don't you miss those days, sweetheart? So what if I do miss them? Celine's changed since then. This illness has made her another person. It's really that simple. We have to accept her the way she is now. Let's say I miss her. Then what? It'll just make me sad. I suggest that you don't worry about it. It's not that simple, Ken. She's your sister, as well as my daughter. I have to go to the gym. I'll see you later. My mom, she's becoming obsessed with me. It's always, where are you? What are you doing? Is something wrong? Really, all the time. Listen, I understand that it's not easy for her either, but I'm being suffocated. You should get your own place. You could get some space and breathe. Sure, I'll get my own place and mom will have no problem with that. I don't think so. What can she do about it? I wouldn't stay for a minute with my folks if I had the money. Things are different in our place. Mom can't stand to be alone ever since Dad died. It's not just me, she gives Ken a hard time too. He's a grown man, but even he can't get his own place. The only reason he still lives at home is to try to keep Mom happy. But still you're lucky, Celine. At least you have another place you can go to. Your house on the island is lovely. You can always go there. You can go there when you get bored. Let's go then. Go where? You said go to the island. Let's go there together. Oh, well, but I don't want to hear any buts. But I have a lesson tomorrow morning. That's OK. We can go over in our boat. I'll talk to the captain. And he can take you back whenever you like. Hmm? Yeah, sure, why not? Let me go and get changed. I'll be waiting for you in the parking lot.
Hey there. What's up? Not much. We seem to run into each other all the time lately. I guess that's a good thing. Otherwise, we'd never see each other. Where are you going, home? No, I'm off to the island for a couple days. Again? I just can't stand to be around mom these days. Don't tell me. <sighs> hey, listen. What do you think about me coming to the island with you? It'll be like the old days. We can ride our bikes at dawn. I can leave you in the dust again, as usual. Actually, I need to have some time alone to clear my head. Well, you know best. See you. Yeah, see you, sis. There, come up. No, I can hardly sit up there anyway. I'll hold on to you then. You'll be safe. Come on. You'll hold me tight? Mm -hmm. Don't you dare let me go. starting today. Kareem's competing in these too. Kareem is, really? He's always entered competitions ever since he was in college. Let's go and have a look, shall we? All right. Look, there he is. Kareem. Kareem. What are you two doing out here? We have a house on the island. I came to stay there with Anna. I knew you had taken time off from work, but I didn't know you were going to enter the swimming competition. I was surprised when Anna told me. It didn't cross my mind to tell you. It's not like I'm here competing in the Olympics. <laughs> I guess I should go. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, good luck. Uh, hey, come to dinner tonight. It's Nizam 69, the house up the hill. I shouldn't promise. I don't know when this will end. It doesn't matter. We can eat later. That's true, Kareem. Don't disappoint her. Okay. I'll come. 